Welcome back. If you've been following the builds, you will know that we are dangerously close to finishing our Stormtrooper. So we've built the torso, we've built the limbs, we've built the arms, we've built, done the shoulder bells, we've put the knee belts on, we've put the sniper plate on, we've cut the cover strips, and we've pretty much done everything. But what we're missing now are some final little details. One of those being the, the main ammo belt. So I am going to rectify this by building the belt today. So let's get straight down to it. So I'm going to trim my belt out. Now again, as with the ammo belt, we just want to get a fairly straight edge across the bottom. So I'm using this as a guide, a visual guide. I'm not going to trim straight up to this edge. Okay, I'm probably going to finish my trim about this far away just off of these pieces, but I can eyeball that it's straight. So I'm not going to cut right up to this. It's going to be a little bit lower, but I'll show you that when we get to the end. So don't, don't skip to the next bit of the video because it's going to be a problem. And we're also going to want to cut this right on the edge because like the knee plate, this is, this is going to be our finished edge. That's why it's, it's this long. So we're just going to take take it down to there. So I'm going to trim that up, sand it up. And we're getting somewhere. Ah, the old shears, it seems like such a long time ago now. So again, I don't know if you remember this from the trimming out video. I'm going, taking the corners off to give me some access into the, into the meat of the belt there. Okay, I'm going to cut as close to that line as I comfortably can with the shears. As I'm right-handed, I'm finding it easier to do it this way around. Mangling the shears a little bit, if you can see, just to allow me to get in there so that this is not fouling up what I'm trying to do. There, so I'm holding that out the way so I can get my shears to run down. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to sand this edge down a little. <clears throat> that one I missed the sheen is, but I'm going to use a bit of this. So I'm using a... <laughs> so I'm just using a bit of cleaner to take my pencil and line off now rather than later because I don't want to mess about with it when the canvas belt's on because I don't really want to get it dirty in any way. <laughs> okay, so this is where we want to be. As you can see, we're really close to these boxes. Now the boxes aren't necessarily 100% straight, so we're just trying to get it looking right. And that is what you're looking for. Right, so we're going to attach this to the belt. Before we do, we just want to take these corners off. As you can see, I'm not measuring them, just pretty much eyeballing them. You can mark them all out and you can measure them and you can, you can do that idealized look, but don't forget these literally were thrown together, literally. And that's the look I'm going for. So 
So there are three holes back formed in, or three indents, markers, call them what you will. And I'm using those to space it out. So I'm gonna mark these through on the belt just to make sure that everything lines up where I want it to. nicer so again back to the hole punch so the marks that are on there are pretty close but I'm going to change them slightly just to suit my build what remains now is to rivet the ammo belt to the fabric belt so I'll stick that in place got my rivet through there something went wrong there I oh know it's dropped into position I'm just going to use this piece of metal because I don't want to smash this with my hammer and run the risk. But you can get in there. If you haven't got anything, it is possible to get your hammer in there. Don't really want to smash the belt. And that's how that works. It's literally just riveted onto it. Right. So your centre one's probably the more nerve-wracking one because you've got the raised boxes. Nice. So we're going to cover these with these. And again, I'm going to cut these out. You can measure these out and draw a little square around them and get everything perfect. And it's probably going to be a little bit more perfect than the one I've just cut there. But that's how they were and that's, that's how I want to do it on this build. You really can. Take a bit more time if, if that's what you want on your personal suit. I understand that. I much more prefer the, the slapdash approach myself. So this one's not fitting quite as nice as it could do, so I'm just going to take a little bit more off it. That's better. What I like to do on these, if you're cutting these out and you're not going to draw around them or anything, I like to do the right angles rather than do two parallels. I'd recommend doing your right angles and moving around the rivet cover as opposed to cutting two and then two. Small amount of the super glue. Really don't need to go crazy. That would be the belt finished, but the story goes that George didn't like the big black gaps that were being created by the armour here. So as an afterthought, we introduced the drop box.
there you go, simple as that. This is how we build stuff. So if you need a kit, you can get on the website. If, however, you've seen this and you think, this is not for me and I don't have the time, don't worry. We also have fully built commissions and fully built stuff. All, again, all on the website, just click through, choose your character, it's all there for you. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.